all right so today we are going to work on how to save and load uh, inventory from the in our game so at the moment i don't have anything in the inventory and we yesterday worked on a save game function now let me collect some items and let's open the door now that i have two items in my inventory a rock and a health pack now when i go over there the game will be saved right game saved now uh, remember the items that we have in the inventory now let me stop the game and start again and if i open the inventory you can see those items that i already had is in the inventory so this is what we are going to work on today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so right at the moment we have implemented a save game system but it only saves uh, the location of the player so i already have a save file that's why when i start the game is start from this point mm. so let me delete that save file it is in the project folder saved and save games here it is let me delete that now when I play the game, it will start from the initial location. Right, now if I collect uh, some item, it is in the inventory, the main in inventory as well, not just the quick access menu. Uh, but that save function is not implemented yet so let me open my character blueprint and go to the main character blueprint right uh, here we have this BP inventory character uh, actor component so this is where we save all our items let me open that blueprint it's in the oh, hard inventory the folder structure name and structure is wrong but that's okay for now mm -hmm. okay let me open the blue bp inventory right here we have two variables these are uh, items and selected index map so we need to save these two values of these variables also into our save file if we want to implement save and load of the inventory so let i think i already have a way to access the inventory from the character yeah let me open the bpi character yes here we have get inventory so with this we can access inventory variables from the save uh, level manager where i save the game right now let me open the save file because we need to define variables there to save inventory values we need to have the same type of variables there mm, can i copy this no i don't think so yeah there is no paste it's okay let's create it it is in the type struct inventory and array we can just copy the name if you want let's name it inventory items type struct here we have struct inventory item and an array um, and the other one this is a map 
uh, item usage and integer let's copy this name inventory selected data map uh, no need to have an underscore now let's remove the underscore from here as well type usage not not material usage item usage okay and integer all right compile okay now let me open the level manager because we have to implement saving and loading of those two variables so in the save game function um, let me reorder this section a bit And, uh, I'll collapse this part and name it as um, save set variables set save variables okay now inside there let's save the inventory variables as well so first First, let's get the inventory get inventory using this function and now from the inventory we can get items and we can get selected index map save maybe it is better to have a different preference yeah and set selected index map we need to assign both variables okay now the save part is done now we have to work on the loading part we need to load these variables we just saved let's add trade out node here I'll collapse this name in um, load inventory okay uh, now let's get the save data and from this we can get inventory items and selected index map then again we can access the inventory of the player using get player character and then get inventory set items and set selected index map okay compile now that should be all 
let me collect some items now we have two items in the inventory um, so this should be loaded again when I save and load the game let me open the two and go over there and save okay game saved now let me stop and restart the game and open the inventory see now we have the items great so it is working and I'm gonna stop this episode right here um oh wait we forgot one more thing we forgot to check if the swapped items are saved so to test let me delete this save file to test that okay now let's collect a stone but we don't have two types of a stone so health pack let's collect health pack and the bandage so now we can swap health pack and bandage so let's set the bandage as the selected item and save the game so if the system is correctly working uh, next time when I load the game the selected item should be the bandage let's see all right it is also working okay so then we can stop this episode right here mm, and uh, one more thing I should mention that when I load the game here you might notice let me eject the character the items that I have already collected previously before saving the game is still there uh, but since I have uh, added a door that can only be open from this side of the room uh, I have prevented access in this area again so because of that it is not an issue but still if we don't have such a setup we can either implement a sub level based approach where this we can put these items in a sub level and we can load it only if player start from the initial point or unload if we uh, if the game is loaded from another checkpoint or we can implement another system to save and load if these items are collected or not and based on that we can either destroy or not spawn those objects so but i'm not gonna worry about that at this point so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club and the project files will be available for there for you to download there as well and thanks for watching See you in another episode. Goodbye.